Hey, welcome back to the channel. Quick how-to. We're working on the rear differential on a 2015 Ram quad cab, the tow rig. And we're just doing a fluid change today, so you're going to need a little over two and a half quarts of this stuff. I like to run the 140 Valvoline because it's available local. I have an LSD, so I want to run the friction modifier or the additive, so get that from Mopar. And then you just need a 14 millimeter Allen head. And uh, this is the fill, it's also the diff plug, and it's rubber, and I just always get a new one whenever I'm working on these trucks, since they're mine's seven years old, so let's take a look. Alright, so we're underneath the truck. On the passenger side, there's your drain plug, and then here's your inspection plug here. Normally I recommend pulling the fill plug first, you'll be filling through this area right here, but this is rubber, if you can't get this out, you've got bigger problems. Now I'm looking at mine, it looks pretty good. I could probably get away with reusing it, but that Dorman one was like 10 bucks, so might as well. I recommend using a little bit of PB Blaster on your drain plug. So let's go ahead and get that loose here. All right, we're nice and loose. And uh, it's 119,000 mile fluid. Never been drained, it's looking pretty good. Nice consistency here. So just let it all drain out, clean up your plug. You want to put a little RTV on that. And when you're going to torque on this back, the torque specs probably 20-ish foot pounds. Just, I mean, it's holding back diff fluid, so don't go crazy with it. A little RTV on there will help keep it sealed. And then you just essentially will pull this top and fill it until it starts edging out, and you're done. Let it drip for about five minutes. Now let's pull this plug off. Let's take your dirt off. I'm just going to grab a flathead screwdriver and just kind of gently get behind it and pull her out. You can see it's nice and clean. No, nothing on there, but you can see when you squeeze it, there's a little bit of deformity and stuff. So I could probably reuse this, but the replacement plug is only a few bucks. I'll show you that. Here's one out of the truck, seven years old, and then the replacement exactly the same. Doorman, there's the part number 65293. So this will be in the garbage. I'll just uh, get rid of that, set this guy aside, and let's put the uh, little bit of RTV on that plug. Just need a little bit of RTV on there, just enough to fill the threads. You don't want gobs and gobs of it, and just throw that back in and it'll fill it. So once the drains plugs in, you'll take your uh, filler these are slip repeats but they all work about the same and thread it right onto your bottle make sure you got the right gear oil this is 75 140 for the rear now what i'll do is i'll uh put about half of this in and then i'll put all of the additive in the remaining half shake it up and put that bottle in that way all of this makes it in uh, the capacity is 2.3 with the drain and fill my truck sits fairly level however you don't want to end up putting this across say three bottles because you're not going to get three in, they're going to be short on the additive. So I usually just put it all in, mix it in with half a quart, three quarters of a quart of this, and then top it off with the second bottle, and then keep topping off till it pops out. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see there the drain plug is uh, installed. It's pretty simple. You just want to take your uh, bottle hole or your hose, put it in the hole there. Now if you were to look in there, you could actually see all your differential internals, your gears and stuff, but there's no point in there. And then this is very, very simple. Just pump it on in and you just keep pumping, rinse, repeat until you're all done again. I usually have this out towards me so I can make sure I've got enough room for the additives and you can kind of keep track of how much I'm putting in. But that's that. Put your cap back on when you're done, clean it up um, and you're done. Okay, we're reaching the end here. This is the third bottle. It's a 2.3 or so quart capacity. We've already got the friction modifier in. We'll pump down to 20. I just like to see it flow out. Spec is actually a little bit below. We'll just, no, we just slowly pump it in. You can start seeing it coming along underneath the hose there. So I'm pumping it in. This is a pretty simple job. I think all in, I'm into this for 30 minutes, including um, letting it drain. That's most of the work. So we'll just go one or two more. And when I'm filling these discs, I just like to see a little stream like that. And now we're good. So we'll stop. We ended up putting in oh, a little over two and a half. And we're going to let a little bit of that drip, drip out until it's done. And we're done. Of course, there's some in the tube as well. 
So we'll just pull the tube out, we'll let it drain back. And there's that flow here. There's that flow we're looking for. So let that level out and we'll put the plug in and you're all done. Diff fluid changed. Save yourself a bunch of money. Check the parts description below the video if you want a full list. And thanks for watching.